The man was sleeping soundly when a spider got into his pants. He took a bite out of his thigh. The man died instantly. When the body was packed up and sent home, the spider climbed into the coffin, smuggled into the United States from Venezuela. It sucks all the blood out of the body. By the time the funeral home opened the wooden coffin, the victim was a mummified corpse, and the culprit snuck out the door and was snatched up by a crow. The birds fluttered not twice. The spider crawled into the abandoned barn. It mates with the native female. She nests in the barn and bears her young. And this town is about to see a bloodbath. Millions of tiny spiders emerge from their shells and they can't wait to climb out of their nests and center themselves around the barn. They marched in all directions. This little spider broke into a house. He felt guilty looking at the cute kitten. Just ready to hit and move the cat was picked up in time but the spider did not give up and quickly hide into the desk lamp while the hostess turned off the lamp when it is not easy to launch a raid on the hostess died on the spot. It was not easy to launch a raid and the hostess died instantly. They thought it was a heart attack and they buried people in a hurry. And then a few days later there was a sudden and mysterious death. A spider snuck into the helmet before the accident and the players put on their helmets without knowing it. There was a sharp pain in the brain and within three seconds the athlete was shot to the ground. The accompanying doctor rushed to the rescue, but spiders are so poisonous they don't give anyone a chance. As the second coffin was buried, the doctor found the cause of death strange and suggested an autopsy, but the town is conservative. The proposal met with strong opposition. It wasn't until the third person died that people began to realize something was wrong. This time the victim was an old doctor and the spider hid in his shoe. The lady who took a nasty bite didn't seem to care at first. My guy's just a spider. Spider? I'm like a damn cougar. Seeing the old doctor in more and more pain, the frightened wife called for help, but it was all in vain until people felt that the old doctor was cold. The mysterious deaths of 72 townspeople and three police finally took notice. According to the school report, the victim was found to contain an unidentified highly toxic substance. The young doctor again suggested exhumation and this time the police didn't stop him. Soon the three bodies were laid out in order and the doctor looked over them. Sure enough, there were wounds on the feet on the backs of the hands and behind the ears of the body no doubt caused by spiders. Little did the townspeople know that the anti-venom spiders had invaded their homes. The girl took a shower with her eyes closed. The spider was just peeping and it jumped into the girl's face, crawling through your belly button with the current for an intimate touch. The girl's scalp was paralyzed with fear. It looks like the spider was flushed down the drain and he got away with it. The couple apparently had no luck. The spider crawled into the popcorn and the woman grabbed a handful and put it in her mouth and they both died instantly. The incident soon caught the attention of biology professors. He dissected the spider. It was found that there were three poison sacs in the body. All it takes is a drop of a rat to die and everyone's face changes to know there are so many spiders. They're spreading around the ovary in what's called a net of beads. Take over the town in less than a week. It's a good thing the first generation of baby spiders don't have reproductive organs. The most urgent task is to find and destroy the ovaries and interrupt the invasion. The most urgent task is to find and destroy the ovaries and interrupt the invasion. Several people took out maps to mark the victims one by one. The four points form a circle and the central point is the ovary. Sapper's ready. Come and get it. <laughs> the doctor was astounded. Wasn't this his own barn? All I see is the main net here. The professor arrived at the barn early, but he was here to deliver food. The doctor ran home to call his wife and children. But it's too late and the spiders are everywhere. They crawled into the bathroom. Spiders also came in through the door and blocked the doctor's back. Let his friend and his wife and children escape from the second floor while he accidentally fell straight down into the cellar. The doctor looked up and saw a huge ovary, and he had a terrible heart. I held up my lightning to defend myself against a spider sitting on the shovel. Fortunately, the man was quick to think and threw the spider away. Cannot have time to be happy giant spider king covetously appeared. The doctor was cornered and when the chips were down he set the fire. Nice shot. The big spider was quickly set ablaze by the fire and he tried to fight back. The doctor immediately knocked him out straight into the ovaries. The movie ends with an aggressive pest control program in town.